Hello, this is George Kosh, and I want to take a little bit of your time to show you the Affiliate Center. Uh, the best thing to do is first, I'm just going to open up a site, and I want to talk to you about what this controls on the site. Um, as you can see, I have a whole bunch of things added to my website at georgekosh.com, and you'll notice it says Column, uh, Footer, and menu okay these are the three places on the website and I just want to show you them um, and then explain the system so just looking at my website here quickly um, I'm going to point out to you where the affiliate center has uh, the ability to, to to modify things the first thing is the menu as you can see we have a menu here and above the menu there's a space and you can see I have something there okay so this is menu top if we go down the page a little bit we'll see the menu ends at this point where my name is contact information and then there's a menu here this is called the menu bottom okay so menu is the left side and I want you to think of these as widget areas um, a lot of people are familiar with that term a widget is a little compartment on the website okay so I want you to think of these two as menu uh, menu top menu bottom and of course if there's a left side there's a right side and on the right hand side we call that the column and it's just a name that we've grabbed there's a column area here and there's also another column area down below okay so you have two areas of the column just like on the other uh, side but there's no menu there uh, there's a menu above up here called specials but everything is below that now the final place is the footer and the footer is most usually understood uh, by most people as the bottom area of the website now if we go back we can see now that if I remember I was talking about the we have the a menu top and remember I had a live chat in there now let's look at what this is First thing you want to do is you want to be able to add affiliate code and I'm just going to take you through that and the affiliate code means it's from another site. Think of affiliate as this could be GetResponse, it could be Aweber, it could be banner code, it could be anything that you want but what you have to think about is is it, is it going to fit. In other words, we're going to put the wide stuff at the footer stuff that can go across here and be wide imagine if you put a banner that was wide on the right hand side here it would destroy your formatting of your website because it'd be ugly big long wide things sitting there as well as on the left so I want you to think if you get code that you want to make sure that it is at a certain uh, dimension that it's going to fit now this isn't for the you know this is this does take uh, some skill um, to get the codes and things like from for example from Twitter from Facebook and things like that so you got to be patient with this area but the good news is as I'm going to show you here if we go to that menu top that live chat you can play around with this in other words if you put the code in here and anything goes wrong you can always delete it okay the better part that I decided I would add here is a preview box you get to preview what the code is doing on the page before you make it live in other words you can turn it off and on okay you can change the position and you can order it all right you give it a name etc now watch for example if I say let's not show this and I turn it off show code goes to this and I hit refresh and what we're going to see is the live chat will disappear okay you can see that right here now remember it's just above here this stuff up here is again this is part of the format of my template that I'm using okay and we don't have a top control because we filled that full of stuff already okay so there's lots of stuff up there now what I would like you to think of is things like adding banners to your site uh, modifying things um, and again you go into places like Twitter Facebook and adding stuff banner exchange code is automated too there's a lot of stuff for example when you go into the uh, banners area here and I just want to show you this quickly because it is very important is when you go into the banners area and you want to add banners to your website uh, the banner promo kit again at the very top of that page it is going to take advantage of your affiliate center in other words when you say add to your website footer area okay it'll add these banners what it's going to do is it's actually going to add this to the affiliate center quietly in other words just with a click 
Okay, so that's important. Um, and again, sitting here, if you say, well, how do you get to the Affiliate Center? Well, it's right here. It's under um, Website Management, Affiliate Center, or down here on the left side. And again, this is an advanced area. I don't want you to think of this as a very simple, like, oh, anybody can just put, this is an optional area that you don't need to use, right? It's just, it's just there uh, because a lot of people said, well, how do I add code? How do I add analytics and things like that? Okay, so you'll notice it says banner promo kit. Do you see that right there? So I didn't add it again, but when I did add it, it went in the footer and you'll notice it's got the rotating banner code here, one of them. Okay, so again, you can take this stuff off, add it on, do whatever you'd like, right? It's a way for you to add anything you want to your website, and that's probably the best thing to think of it as, okay? And if you're familiar with WordPress, it's like widgets, okay? It's the same thing. You, can, you get your little area that you can control, and you add uh, code in for anything that you want, okay? I hope that helps you. Thank you very much.